to Alien Horizon 02 here today, and what I'm going to be doing is showing a glitch that will basically give you unlimited bolts. However, sometimes it does take longer if you don't do it in the right spot, but I will show the best spot to do it. Now, there's two ways to initiate this glitch. The first way is going to be doing it with the hollow guys, which is probably about the easiest way to do it. And the second one is going to be using basically the decoy glove. And what you're going to be doing is pinning yourself up against a corner, and it's going to allow you to glitch out and go onto the map of the track, which is actually, I would imagine, programmed and developed into the same level as this world. So there is access to it if you can get through a wall or do any sort of glitch that gets you through the walls on this game. And now I will be showing you the first way to do this, which is probably about the easiest way. And all you're going to be doing is activating the hall guys, and when you enter the race, basically start off as Ratchet and you're not on a board or anything like that and you can explore the world and blah 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 explore the whole racetrack and now I'll be demonstrating the other way to do this which is a little bit more complicated. So the second way to do this is basically you're going to be pinning yourself up against the corner with the decoy glove and it's going to allow you to push yourself through the wall you're going to be able to walk around the rim and then fly onto the map which is the second way of accessing the map if you don't have the hollow guys yet. <clears throat> Alright, so like another thing I noticed when you're doing this and you want to use the hollow guys, and it's even though it's a little bit easier, I noticed sometimes for some reason um, you won't be able to look around, like you won't be able to influence your directional change, like your vertical view, simply going like this, where if you access it with the hollow guys you can. I think that has something to do with like the developing and the programming of how the stage that it enters when you're actually doing the upper race versus just walking around on the racetrack map, which I don't think was actually intended for the game. Here I'll show this. Obviously that was just four boxes, but it'll continuously keep going. All the way... Forever, basically. What I used to do is actually just put a pan on my controller and then let it sit, and then I would continuously keep doing it. And as soon as I look at it, it's going to stop. And the great part about doing that with a ton of the crates, not only because there's like a ton of them on that one block, but also because you can just look straight and not have to hold the stick up. basically it. So once you access the uh, trapway, whether doing it with whatever way you prefer, basically look in the direction of the boxes and then look away and start using the taunter. Now this is the part that I said sometimes I would just like put a clamp on my controller just to hold the circle down so I mean you can just spawn it. You don't have to keep pressing it, you can just hold it. This is like the perfect way to get infinite bolt from this game, guys. You can get whatever you want, whether you're looking for nanotech, weapons, gold weapons, or anything like that. All you have to do is this glitch. As long as you pin yourself up against that corner of the decoy glove and do this, you can just let it run. Arrow at the top, that's where I obviously thinks that I'm at during the track. 
And, uh, well, guys, that's about it. That's how you can get infinite bolts and Ratchet and Clank 1. It's a great secret for helping anybody out. If you want to know more, feel free to leave a comment and I'll answer any questions because sometimes this glitch can be a little tricky and other times it can be super easy. But it's as simple as accessing the track map and then acknowledging the boxes and then looking away from them as you do it. And then you just hold down circle, it's on her. You know, unlimited. Thanks for watching, guys, and don't forget to check out my boss video for the final battle of Drek for Ratchet and Clank 1, and I intend on doing uh, probably about the first or the tenth game of the final boss battles. If you guys are interested in seeing that, feel free to let me know, and don't forget to give a like if you enjoyed the content and found it helpful, and give a subscribe if you want to see more videos and contribute to my channel. Thanks for watching, guys, and take care.